Nets hosting the Thunder, and the Nets are five or five and a half point favorites. The over under I have at 230 and a half. I have the Thunder at plus 175 on the money line, and the Nets at minus 210. OKC is on a two game winning streak, and the Nets lost the last game that they played. And before you bet on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are playing in this game because obviously we know KD isn't playing for the Nets, but as that right there you see, it says no injured players. It doesn't matter if someone's going to be out for a while, it should still have someone listed, even though it does not. Now, head to head, the road team's on a five game winning streak. The road team is seven and three. The Thunder are seven and three against the Nets in their last 10. The underdog is 6-4 against the spread, and the favorite is 6-4 on the money line. The over has hit in their last four games. The over is 6-3-1 in their last 10, but the under 230.5 specifically is 7-3. The last game that they played, the Thunder won 130-109. The game before that, the Nets won 120-96. The game before that, the Nets won 147-125. And the game before that, the Nets won, the Thunder won. 129 to 116. Now, in their last handful of games, there's been 234 points for the Thunder, 247. We've got 223 and 229 for those people who like to bet the over unders. So, three out of four kind of would be right there with this over under. For the Nets, we've got 207, 203, 210, and 224. The absence of KD, who was playing like lights out, is probably going to be very critical to the fact of how well the Nets are playing and how well they're going to do going down the stretch. Now, the Thunder are 27 and 16 against the spread. The over is 27 and 16 in the games in which they played in, and they are 7 and 14 on the road. The Nets are 19, 20, and 2 against the spread. The under is 24 and 17 in the games in which they played in, and they are 13 and 6 at home. I like the Thunder in this game because the Thunder play up to their opponent and they lose to the teams that are beneath them. And I believe it's the same thing with the Magic. They're doing this for the draft lottery placement. And I could be totally wrong. I'm going to take the Thunder with the money line. I'm going to take the Thunder getting the points. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.